Rich we're going to see Mommy DF <laughs> okay, versus Palutena. Richie Rich. Okay, Palutena. So yeah, Palutena versus Krom. We did just see Krom in the previous set played right. by you. Indeed. Um, now, how do you feel about Krom Palutena from I think his perspective? Krom has a <laughs> I'm not playing anymore. But um, yeah, I feel Krom has the speed to contest Palutena on stage. But he does have the problem when it comes to recovering because Palutena is Nair. And if she just stays on stage and she's like, hey, I'm going to downbeat and Krom kind of dies. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of rough for him. But he does have like the power and the speed to kind of contest Palutena on stage. So we will see these players' tags shortly after they get updated. I'm very curious um, as to who this mommy GF person is. The tags are... Okay, so right now what we're seeing is a bit of a lead here. Oh, this is the yeah. Texas player, Desley Deasley. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Probably Desley, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but, but he yeah. is seated pretty high at this tournament. Um, yeah, I, I don't know him personally, but I, ha I did play with the other Texas Invaders who oh. came a week or two ago. I can so see if he's anything like them. Yeah, I can see that he knows his teleport cancels and everything. But yeah, Rich Ridge is playing a little bit better the second stock. It was quite an unfortunate SD with that uh, air dodge. He's using them very well, avoiding all of Palutena's kind of. She she is like Chrome in the sense that some of her attacks will hit below the ledge. Oh, I I, uh. I like that, but <laughs> a little bit too far. A little bit too far. So we're seeing a commanding lead here right now from I'm gonna call him Desley. Yeah, it does. Okay, I agree. Um, yeah, Rich yeah Rich I'm missing I'm that jab back here. Uh, I'm not honestly sure what happened to, for him to get this lead. He just seems like Richie Rich just can't seal this first stock. There, there was that, and it's just um, I'm telling you, Krom off stage. It's yeah, a little it bit, a little bit of rough. Okay, it's very getting adapt, adapted to yeah, that. Very um, smart, anticipating the air dodge. Yeah. That was a textbook edgeboard guard, Palutena versus Krom right there, from what I can tell anyway. Yep, that's uh, how the matchup goes. Wow, so a very convincing three stock to start the set here. It's really fun until you get hit. Do you think I don't know I don't know Richie Rich personally, but do you believe that he may switch off of Krom or do you feel like the character isn't necessarily the problem here? I don't think the character is a problem. I think um, if anything this is an even matchup. Uh, and I also don't know him personally. I think he might be a solo pro main. Um, I think in this matchup, you're better off going Roy if you play both of them, mm. just because you don't have to deal with it. like her counter still hits Roy's recovery for whatever reason, but it's um, a little bit easier to maneuver off stage. So we're going to town and city. I'm guessing Rich Rich trying to get some play on those platforms, but right now Palutena's Nair is just taking a big chunk of his first stock. Just look at how well Desley is holding stage control throughout this set here. He just is not. He's not giving an inch when it comes to this stage positioning, doing everything in his power to keep Krom towards the edge of the stage and off stage for edge guard situations. Switching into the final destination kind of transformation right now. Um, Richard getting a couple forwarders for himself, air dodging to the ledge, very good recovery, not giving uh, Desley a chance to punish that. He's going to do counter. Yep. Yeah, that'll do it. I think he touched the stage, though, so he might have a jump. Wow. Yeah, you're right. That Richie Rich really needed that if he wants to stay in this right. set. Oh, Ooh, that's wow. Gonna be oh. Gonna Riding the wall. Yeah. Not going to help him out there. Got to be very careful. I think uh, another thing that Richard could be doing is Krom is a really, really strong ledge trapper. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily, I'm, I'm guilty of this as well, but you don't necessarily have to go off stage to try and kill the opponent when you can just keep racking percent by not letting them come back to the stage. Yeah. Uh, struggling a little bit to get back on stage against Palutena's aerials are really hard to contest. I'm seeing with Desley here, I don't know if this is a matchup thing or just the way he plays, is he's just using so many aerials, dash attack as his approaches. He's used maybe two or three auto reticles, and I've seen zero explosive flames this whole set. Right. I feel um, nice for Till taking the first stock for Rich Rich. Um, I feel uh, explosive flame is really good against people that just like to dash dance a lot. Yeah. Especially Krom and Roy, because their dash dance, the window where you can't really do anything during the dash, uh, is kind of long. So they will eventually run into it. Grabbing him out of that up B. Wow. It's really no respect yeah. for this man. Oh, going for the kill, not gonna land it. Are we gonna see it. a JV3? No, the dash attack came in clutch. Oh, back here. Oh, he wanted to land on the platform, I think. 
Got oh, that spacing, very nice. though. Wow. Very nice of me. That's I always so get hyped difficult. when I see Kron get in that spacing. It's so hard. Oh, he oh. wanted it. I respect that so I, I respect much. It. <laughs> <laughs> there, there were two stocks this left. This one? Okay, yeah. All right. Well, good showing. Desley is showing that he's here to take some people's money. Um, yeah, and what Richridge a strong showing. Putting a good fight. But Richridge going to take it. Honestly, Desley just looked extremely well versed in that matchup. I don't know if he has a Krom buddy back home, but it sure seemed that oh, way.